What's up, everybody? This is Coley D. Uh, don't worry about the lighting. <laughs> Never do. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so peep this out, y'all. I am, in effect, doing a challenge to see if I can do a video without my glasses because a certain someone don't like me wearing glasses or whatnot. So this is serves to be a challenge. But also. I am here to talk about Bel Air because I recently watched the first episode of Bel Air and figure I would share my analysis with you on what I think of it personally. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this is an opinionated video, so if you have seen Bel, if you have seen Bel Air already, please comment in the comment section below. Also, for those who haven't seen Bel Air. And who want to see it, I will tell you now, this will have spoilers. This will have some spoilers in it, so warn you now. Do not watch this if you haven't seen it yet. And this may be a lengthy video, so click the watch later button right now. And I'll give you time for that. Still here? Alright. Then let's go. All right. So as you know, Bel Air is a dramatic turn to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, the show they all know and love. You know, you, you know, you know, with Will Smith and you know Ashley Banks, Hillary, and all that stuff. You know, the comedy you all know and love. But this is a way more dramatic turn now. Unfortunately, for copyright reasons, thanks to YouTube, <laughs> we cannot show you any of the clips of Bel Air here. But we're still going to keep it Dougie Fresh up in here, so let's do it. First off, we're going to talk about Will, played by Jabari Banks. Now, <clears throat> Will, Will is the same guy from Fresh Prince. Don't, but, but the only difference is, is more. He's more serious. They give an awesome. They they give an awesome dramatic background story on how he ended up to Bel Air in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, it, you know his back back roots to you know West Philadelphia and everything, and you know how he had how he has his scholarship to play basketball and everything. But um, got some haters in the mix, and you know they want to kill him. So his mom won't have it. His mom won't have it. So sent them off. So sent them off to Bel Air to meet up with Uncle Phil and the family. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv. You know. So. I think that's I think I think that was a smart move to do. You know what I'm saying? Will, let me see. Will, will be Will is being his you know his same his same self in this. However, you know like I say, it's a little bit more seriousness in it. So it, it's gonna it's gonna bring the West Philadelphia flavor into in, into the bank's home. So we'll see we'll see how this goes. All right now. Oh and, oh, and we talk about Will's mom at the end of this, all right? So, stay in there. All right, y'all, let's talk about Adrian Holmes as Uncle Phil. Now, Uncle Phil is not fat in this one, y'all. No, 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 no. He's not fat in this one. He's actually slim and buff, too. Oh, yeah. He, <laughs> he still, it, but, but he still carries the same characteristics as the Uncle Phil you know and love. From, from from the original Fresh Prince, Sh you know, rest in peace. Continue to rest in peace, James Avery. But you know, he he's firm, strict, but fair, and and and, care, and cares about you, and cares about you as well. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of tough love that he's showing Will in this. You know what I'm saying? But but we're just getting to to know Uncle Phil at this stage, so. But we're gonna see how this goes as the show goes as the show rolls on. Now let's talk about the third Aunt Viv, 
Cassandra Banks. Now Aunt Viv, now Aunt Viv in this, she she's the neutral one in the family, but she is the more the, the more happy one. And this and this Aunt Viv is based off of the first Aunt Viv and Fresh Prince. You know what I'm saying? Also firm, but she but but she, but she really does take care of all her uh, of all her children, including Will. In this, like she, like 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 she's the optimistic one. She's the one that 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 that, that, try, that tries to keep everything ran like a well-oiled ship. And she and she's the one that and she's the one that you know keep try to keep everybody on the positive role here. But if she sees anything that that is screwed up, she's gonna make sure that she put that joint in check. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, this is the a uh, good one now. <laughs> Ollie Shalotin as Carson Banks. Now let's talk about this dude. <laughs> you think the feud between Will and Carson was something else on the comedy Fresh Prince of Bel Air? You wait till you, you wait till you see Peacock. Oh, that feud that feud starts as soon as they meet. Like Carson is already treating Will like a complete and utter jerk. You know, like Car you like Carlton's an Oreo, so of course she, so 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 of course she's gonna treat him, treat you know, downplay him because he got all, he got all this money and he's rich and all this other stuff like that. There, like, man, bro, nah, don't do, nah, don't do that. <laughs> and then, and then, and, and and then check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and connect something real quick. Things really start to heat up when Will meets Lisa, who is who is played by Simone Joy Jones. Check this out. In this in, in this in this dramatic reboot, Lisa is Carlton's ex-girl. Yes, you heard me correct. Lisa is actually an ex of Carlton. This this never ha this never happened in the first prince. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Lisa came like way later down the line or whatnot, you know. So, so, so that, so that was it. So that's an interesting twist to me, you know. And find and finds Will very likable. Carlton didn't like that at all. And um, well, you see what happens towards the end of the episode. <laughs> rivals, rivals, rivals. Oh. And Carlton ain't Mr. Goody Two Shoes either. Oh yeah. Oh, he does some drugs, and we ain't talking about weed either. What kind of drugs? Oh, you got, oh, you got to tune in to find out. Now let's talk about Coco Jones, who plays Hillary Banks. Now she's not now nah, she's not super light skinned as the original Hillary Banks, but and but in this one. In this one, she she's of course she 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 she's bubbly, full of spunk. She's about that fashion sense, you know what I'm saying? But 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 in this one, she knows how to cook. Yes, Hillary didn't know Hillary didn't know how to cook in in, in Fresh Prince, but in this one, Hillary knows how to cook, and, and and she and she's trying to get her recipes to go into this magazine. This Hillary right here, I have hope for because she's not dumb at all. Which, thank God, <laughs> we don't need dumb people in a in a dramatic series. We don't. So yeah, a, a, a joy to watch. Now here you are with Akira Akbar, hype twelve year old Ashley Banks. She like like she loves Will to death. She always she she always wanted to you know hang with Will, chill and chill with him, you know, learn some things from West Philadelphia, you know what I'm saying? So not much is not not much to say about Ashley, but you know, she you know she's cool and hip or whatnot. She 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 does what her she does what her parents say or what and everything. It's just you know get, you know just getting adapted with Will being in, and being in the house now. Name butcher alert! I have a feeling I'm gonna butcher this name. Forgive me. <laughs> Jimmy Akimbola as Jeffrey. Hope I got that right. <laughs> but yeah, he plays 
he plays Jeffrey in, you know in this version now for those of you that are wondering no Jeffrey's last name is not Butler okay <laughs> but 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 he do, but but he do, but he does play like the house security and everything like that in, you know in this version of Bel Air now now he now he's the type that's neutral about everything of course Jeffrey from Fresh Prince he's the one that don't give a damn about anything he'll crack a joke He's like a joke at the family and won't give two million cares. Feel me? He he wouldn't he would not. <laughs> he, he, he just he just like cut throat. In this one, he you, you know like he he's he's a little bit more he's a little bit more serious. He he will crack he will crack a joke if he have to, but he's making sure that everything in the everything in that house also is is ran like a tight ship also he's the one he, he, he's he's the one that makes sure that um that no one goes in or out better without you know pro, you know properly you know what i'm saying you know the house is the state properly you know what i'm saying so yeah with that said will does will does try to make an escape because he didn't like the surroundings and pressure and, and everything like that that was going on in the house but Jeffrey spotted him, and guess what? Hey, gotta gotta bring him back. <laughs> um, like Uncle Phil wasn't having that, so yeah. Something does cause Will to try to make that escape, but you have to watch and find out. Next up, Jordan L. Jones as Jazz, Will's homie, Will Will's partner in crime. Now. You have to now, now. You gotta admit, you like you like you like you do have your slim pickings, but you do have to try to match up the characters and to the best of your ability. And I think they tried their best with this one. <laughs> but um, but but yeah, but yeah, Jazz ends up being the cab driver in this one. Yeah, he he's the cab driver in this one. They didn't say who the cab driver was. And you know, in you know, in first prints, but you know, probably didn't matter. So they, so so they decided to go ahead and double up on this one, you know, as as Will's advisor and, and, and as a cab driver. So you know, like, and, and he keeps it, and he keeps it real in this one. He's he he's not he's not that he's not that dumb friend. You know what I'm saying? So. He got that cool, suave personality that he has with him or whatnot. But he keeps it real with you, too. So, this version of Jazz I like for a dramatic series. And we have one person that is not listed here, and that's Will's mom. Now, this is April Parker Jones. She She's the one that plays Will's mom in this. Now, she is very... Very, very proud of Will and everything that he does. You know what I'm saying? It, it plays plays a very important part in the backstory as you watch the first episode of Bel Air. Very, very, very important part. You know, she 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 makes she she tries her best and makes sure that Will, you know, get you know. You know, gets his scholarship in basketball. Make sure he get. You make sure he gets very good grades in school. Make make sure he stays out of trouble and all that. Like, like she she's like one of those perfect moms that you that you want in your life. You know what I mean? Or or one that you know that really tries their best and do every do and do everything possible. You know, and especially, especially if you're growing up in the hood. You know, so. <clears throat> but as I said. But as I said, something happened on something happened to Will that caused her to 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 make Will go all the way to Bel Air with Uncle Phil in the game. But you have to but you have to watch Bel Air to find out. Oh, one interesting piece that I like to say about Miss April Parker Jones here: she is originally from Durham, North Carolina. Oh yes. 
<laughs> she's originally from Durham, North Carolina. And you might have seen her on this show, on the CBS show from, from way back in 2006 or 2007, somewhere in there, called Jericho. So yeah, you've seen this face before. But, but yeah, that's pretty much the important cast and crew of Bel Air. Now, what do I think of the show as a whole? So far, like I said, I only seen one episode, but I thought I'd go ahead and give my input on this. What I think of the show as a whole, out of 10, I give it an 8. This show did not suck at all as many people are, were spectating. Oh, it's going to suck. Oh, 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 this show is not going to be funny. This, that, and the third. Well, if you listened to Will a couple of years ago when he first pitched the idea, it's going to take a dramatic. It's going to take a dramatic turn. It's not going to be like all these other reboots that people are doing. Or whatever. It's going to take an actual dramatic role in this, like the more serious tone. So I, so I already set my mind for this. But so far, from what I've seen, they are doing a fantastic job. You know what I'm saying? They're doing a fantastic job. And I hope and, and I hope they keep and I hope they keep it up in in, in episodes two on, you know. <laughs> so eight out of ten, fantastic job by the whole entire cast, you know. I, I think I think he got a fan in me. You know, like this is this is a very interesting way to do this, in my opinion. Very interesting way to do this. So Keep up, keep up the great work. And that's all I got. Until next time, this is Coley D. I'll see you the next time on the next vlog. Peace.